at 6 tonight, a downtown fire wipes out homes for dozens of people. Chopper 13 fast and first on the scene as firefighters rescue one man, making this whole situation even worse. Many of those people were already facing tough situations. 13 Action News reporter Annalise Ortiz explains how they're getting help. I've helped a couple of people. Tim Michaels believes in giving back. Uh, I had a wheelchair. I let somebody use my wheelchair because they can't walk good. Mostly because people helped him cope with polio his entire life. All my life I've been disabled. And it just got worse. He says it got worse Friday morning when Parsons Place, his apartment complex, caught fire. I just went grocery shopping, got $200 worth of groceries, and it's all spoiled. Tonight, the Red Cross is providing a place for him and more than 50 other people to rest their heads. Many of the people who will stay in the shelter tonight are no stranger to shelters like this. Parsons Place provides transitional housing, and many of the people who live there were just starting to get their lives back on track. It's a place to live. It's being off the streets. That's what Parsons Place is. Tina Mackey, also disabled, says Parsons Place kept her from becoming homeless. The fire suddenly taking that away. Everybody's going to be homeless. You know, I don't. from what I understand, we're not going to be able to get back in except to retrieve our stuff. But people in Parsons Place are used to surviving, and that's exactly what they plan to do. I have to. <laughs> you know, I have to. With the help of good-hearted people. If it wasn't a lot of good people in the world, the world wouldn't be here. Annalise Ortiz, 13 Action News. Investigators say it started when someone was cleaning jewelry with gas while smoking a cigarette. Neighborhood Housing Services of Southern Nevada and the Red Cross are working to find new homes for everyone who was displaced. Both organizations are accepting donations.